Hey guys, so ExileCon happened and we got a lot of information about Path of Exile 2 and a lot of hype. So in this video I want to make like a condensed information, like a quick overview of um, most of the things that I'm hyped about, but uh, it's not gonna be very uh, detailed. So if you want like a very quick notes, uh, well I have some notes about uh, PoE 2 and quick notes about uh, the upcoming league, but there's a lot of things to talk about and the first thing is that Path of Exile 1 and Path of Exile 2 are going to be separate. All this time we thought that it's gonna be the same game, it's just gonna be like separate campaigns, but now it kind of makes sense why some of the leaks were not bringing the features that we expected from PoE 2, because we, we, I guess we did not, and this is gonna be a bit controversial topic and uh, a topic of discussion for a long time I think, the split between PoE 1 and PoE 2, like all the items, the skills, some of the skills are gonna be the same, maybe some of the items are gonna be the same, but it's gonna be different games now. It's gonna be split, the, the skills, the, the classes of course, the campaign, the end game, and they said something, and I may be wrong, that they want people to play Path of Exile 2, but also still play Path of Exile 1, and it seems like we're not ditching Path of Exile 1, Path, uh, Path of Exile 1 is still going to get new seasons, but also Path of Exile 2 is gonna be getting new seasons and ex expansions. And it's not gonna happen at the same time. So you're gonna play Path of Exile 2, but then Path of Exile 1 new season is gonna start, so it's gonna switch to that. <laughs> I'm not sure how is that gonna work out, and I feel like if people are gonna be playing both games, for much longer period than normally they would play Path of Exile 1 for, for let's say 3 or 4 weeks and then quit the game until the next season but now we're gonna just switch to the Path of Exile 1 and continue this season or start the new seasons that's gonna cause I think exhaustion of the game like in general people are just gonna get tired of Path of Exile in general we, we, we're just gonna start complaining more and more so I fear that that may happen hopefully not but I guess we'll see about that. Uh, next thing uh, I noticed, gold gold dropping, as I understand, is only going to be used to buy stuff from NPCs. Uh, like currently, let's say, in order to buy portal scrolls, you need wisdom scrolls. In order to buy blacksmith redstones, you need like armor and scraps. So they're turning everything into gold, sort of. You, you're going to require that much gold to buy like uh, portal scrolls and that much gold to buy like transmutation shards or stuff like that that's a good thing i think uh, less confusion more streamlined not sure if uh, gold is going to be used anywhere else uh, now all the classes and by the way there's going to be 36 ascendancy classes in path of exile 2 currently we have 19 so we're doubling the amount of ascendancy classes pretty much doubling the amount because like path of exile 1 and Path of Exile 2. 2 is, is, is twice bigger than 1, so we also need to double the amount of classes. <laughs> so that's also pretty massive, and every class seems to have a dodge roll with space. So you just click space, no cooldown, and you just dodge. It can cancel animations, it's gonna be much smoother. All the, all the animations are gonna be smoother, but I also suspect all the game is gonna be slower. And I'm not sure how the game is gonna look with uh, faster animations, once you like stack a bunch of speed and you start spamming skills uh, much quicker, how is that gonna look visually? Is that gonna break the game or is that, or will they want to place like a artificial limiters to slow you slow you down so that you don't like break the animations? I'm not sure about that, but the gameplay looks so smooth and, and melee, and they show the slow gameplay for newer players to be able to see what's happening, to understand what's happening and all the damage that we were doing pretty much were with no links and uh, kind of bad items so as an actual build you're gonna be able to clear faster and, and, and destroy monsters faster and it's not gonna be as uh, like grindy looking. I think the, the, the showcase would have been better if we had a bit more damage because it felt like we are really struggling with everything and, and that didn't really look that good. So if new players are watching and, and thinking, oh wow, that's a very difficult game, it's not gonna be that difficult. Fast playthrough may be gonna be difficult, but once you start getting gears and, and start getting the right gears for, for the build, it, it's gonna quickly become much, much easier. 
Yeah, now another thing, crowd control is also changing and I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but the crowd control is gonna have like a stagger meter, like a build up meter, sort of like in Diablo 4. Uh, you kind of need to uh, remove the the stagger meter before the the boss becomes crowd control but for this is going to be like a specific like uh, you build up freeze until the, the boss gets frozen i'm not sure how that's gonna feel in the game like how long is it gonna last uh, are we gonna be able to extend that crowd control or is it just gonna increase the build up speed uh, yeah there are many unknowns still now bosses uh, also <laughs> Wow, the, the bosses have so many different attacks and, and, and different like patterns and mechanics. It's all It almost feels like we, we took bosses from Elden Ring and we, we just boosted the amount of attacks we, we, that we have. Now, obviously, if you have enough damage, you can just bypass all the mechanics. But it's still very cool to see bosses having so many different mechanics. There was also something mentioned about permanent stats or attributes from the optional bosses like Let's say you get uh, 10 spirit and spirit I'm gonna mention that as well some of those probably gonna feel mandatory the spirit is the new resource system for a reservation I, I really like this idea but re remember all the skills all the builds throw the current builds away don't think about them because we're not gonna have the same skills in Path of Exile 2 so all the auras that we have right now you, you don't need to think about how are you gonna reserve like hatred aura grace aura and then like determination those may not even exist in poe 2 and a reservation system maybe all the game is going to be balanced around having i guess fewer auras but auras are gonna reserve skills based on spirit so you're gonna have like let's say 100 spirit to begin with you're gonna be able to increase that 100 to to something more by doing the optional quest uh, optional bosses uh, and probably something else maybe with items as well and Aura is gonna reserve let's say 100 spirit so at the start you're probably only gonna have one aura which is kind of weird and someone mentioned that minions also not gonna have a limit but we're going to reserve your spirit as well so i'm not sure about minutes and reservation just yet now a really really super cool feature is the weapon swaps so let's say we showcased all the weapons currently have a default attack like it doesn't matter what weapon you take they have a default attack well ranged weapons like visually have different uh, attacks but all weapons only have like a, a default attack with no other interactions in path of exile 2 we are changing i'm not sure which weapons maybe just spellcaster weapons maybe some ranged weapons uh, for example staffs staves are gonna have different skills like you can get a fireball as a free free cast it's gonna be like a default attack instead of like mailing you're gonna be shooting a fireball it's gonna be inbuilt into the weapon so i assume it's, it will also be supported by actually the, the support gems not, not really gonna go into the weapons anymore or yeah i'm not sure about the support system just yet but the weapons the at least staves will have their own skills and not only that but the gems that you find are gonna be uncut so you can just right click on that uncut gem and just select the gem that you want and it's gonna be leveled up to the zone level that you found it from so that's really cool as well and uh, the whole like gem system if you don't know uh, you probably know but the gem system is, is changing completely you're basically gonna open open the separate thing for your gems it's not gonna be in the items anymore it's gonna be the separate thing and then you place the gem and then place gems inside the gem <laughs> it's kind of not really placing gems inside the gems but it's, it's just gonna be a link system and we're gonna have more like meta gems which uh, gonna do all sorts of cool things and overall gonna have more sockets and um, from my understanding they're gonna be fewer actual skill gems uh, right now we have like 350 something around that skill gems plus non-skill gem skills but we're gonna have like 240 i believe it was mentioned so there, there, there will be fewer skill gems uh, but that doesn't mean that gonna be fewer builds because we're gonna be able to allocate which skills should use which weapon you're gonna be able to weapon swap automatically it was shown uh, for example if you have a plus two cold staff and then you you have like plus two lighting staff you can uh, put one in the one weapon slot and the other one in the weapon swap and then in the skill in the link skill or whatever it's called now in that window you're gonna be able to uh, go to the specific skill and and use a checkbox which weapon swap weapon you want to use so whenever you cast at that skill is automatically going to switch a weapon 
and that skill will gain those benefits from that weapon. It's not gonna like combine those weapons uh, to get more power, but it's gonna switch that weapon. So you're gonna get uh, that plus two to cold or plus two to lighting. In addition to that, it's also gonna be able to modify your passive skill tree on the fly. It's gonna be based on the weapon swap as well. So let's say uh, if you want to use lighting skills and cold skills at the same time, you're gonna be able to slightly modify the passive skill tree like uh, 10 points a bit more maybe and allocate different passive points for different weapons that use different skills. So the cold skill will swap to the cold staff let's say and swap to the cold passive points on the passive skill tree. It's gonna be seamless and on the fly without you like adjusting anything or swapping weapon manually. So that's really really cool and I think that pretty much doubles the amount of builds. We really want to create like synergies between skills like uh, freeze with one skill then uh, like fall back and then use I, I know what you're gonna say oh that's just gonna slow down the gameplay it's, it's forcing us to use multiple skills yeah, I get it. I, I don't know how that's actually gonna feel like and I think don't judge it just by that. Once we get our hands on Path of Exile 2, which by the way, it's gonna take one year to even start the beta. The beta is gonna begin uh, next year summer. So 2024, I think it was June or July, I, I forgot which month it was. Only the beta, which means that the gap between the beta and actual launch is gonna be, I assume it's gonna be more than a couple months. So I think my prediction is the earliest that we can expect to play Path of Exile 2, uh, not the better but the actual launch, is gonna be 2024 winter for Christmas. We're gonna try to aim it for Christmas, but I suspect we may actually want to extend it even more into 2025 sadly. I, I, I wish it was sooner but I mean we, we really want to nail it down and make the, the game as perfect as possible for the launch. That pretty much covers what I wanted to talk about Path of Exile 2 uh, in this quick video. Uh, now the league, the upcoming league for Path of Exile 1, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of a tourna tournament arena, autoplay based. Like uh, you you're gonna have sort of like, not mercenaries, but your team. You you're gonna build up a team. Your team is gonna auto fight and you're gonna be fighting as well. And we, uh, you're gonna try to compete with other like not players but I guess NPCs, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, and try to defeat their totems or like uh, defeat them. Everyone is gonna pick their best rewards instead of trying to uh, combine the best team, I, I bet. So I'm not sure how I feel about that because it's not a typical uh, slay a bunch of enemies and get a good uh, loot, but some people really like this idea. Sanctum is actually returning and going into the core, you're gonna be able to trade Sanctum, Sanctified Sanctums. If you feel like you, you won't be able to complete that run, but you see that there is like a mirror of Calandra at the end, but you know that you won't be able to complete it. Well, you can like put it in an item and sell it to players who think that they could complete it. You still benefit, you still got some of the reward. Uh, we haven't actually talked about trading, which is kind of weird. Maybe there's gonna be more information later on about trading. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure about this league. Uh, I would like to hear your opinions. What are you most hyped about or unsure about? Like for example, Chieftain. Uh, if you look at the rework Chieftain, it also looks kind of... It lost a lot of damage, it lost some cool things, so I'm not sure what to think about the new Chieftain. It also has some cool things like 5% chance for enemies to explode dealing 500% of their life as fire damage, which is a lot, but also, yeah, if that's the only like cool thing, then I don't know. I feel like these kind of big changes are always controversial because people don't like losing things that we already know how they work and what builds to use, and now we just lose those things and now we got new things and you're not sure of which builds could use those things. Like I always try to be like open-minded and not judge everything without actually trying. So yeah, that's kind of my perspective. Very hyped about Path of Exile 2. A bit uncertain about, about the split between Path of Exile 1 and 2. And I'm also not quite sure about the upcoming league. So yeah, uh, that's kind of my take. Uh, by the way, the the new league is, is gonna begin in around three weeks. So we still got like three weeks of, uh, of time to kill and uh, we're gonna get more information, more explanation, like Q&A and answers uh, about everything that we have questions about. So yeah, that's, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.